Okay, welcome everyone. On this video, uh, we will talk about four section, uh, chapter four, section two, finding measure of variability. Uh, that's from the eighth grade. You already learned about some script plot, so we will uh, use this graph type of graph to show the this variability on the number line. So what we will do, we will show how the numbers are separated. Let's define the first and third quartile for each data set. So to find first and third quartile, you need to order the values. So what is the least uh, one here? 78, then again 78. I wrote this too. Then 88, 88, 89. I wrote this 3, 90, 92. 19, 92. So how many values we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So first we will find median. It is the median. That's median at the same time called second quartile. Second quartile. Second, that's better. Okay. After you find the median, which numbers are left side of the median? So let's find not like use another color. Okay, that's better. This is the lower half, and which numbers on the right side of the median? These are the upper half. So the median of the lower half, so here the median we have three values on the left side, the lower half. I want to choose blue, sorry. The median of the lower half is 78. This is called first quartile. And the median of upper half we call third, sorry. Third uh, quartile. When you draw a box and we script plot, of course, you need to know the lowest and greatest value. Uh, let's continue. Let's continue. If you want to find first and third quartile, it's the same idea. And again, you need to order the values from smallest to from uh, least to greatest. The least value here, 11. Then I have third, oops, sorry, I have 12 here. I didn't see it at the first. 13 and 13. 13 and 13. Then there is 114. 115. I couldn't draw it. Okay, now 115, 16, no 17, 18, 18, 16, 18, 18, then 19, what is left? 21 and 21. So I wrote all numbers 21, 21. How many values do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Let's count it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12. So we have an even number. To calculate the million, and to add these two and divide it by two, so give us the median. So that's the mid median equal, and it's the second quartile, we call it second quartile, is equal to um, 15 plus 16 divided by 2. So 31 divided by 2, it's equal. 15.5 so median is between these two numbers there's there's the median at the middle of the 15 and 16 is median because of that the 15 is into the lower half so 15 is uh, include it's a member of the lower half and 16 is a member of upper half so now you need to find the median of the lower half one two three four five six value so if it's even number, we add two middle number, 13 and 13, then divide by two. This is the first quartile. So median of the lower half, it's equal 13 plus 13 divided by two. 26 divided by two is 13. So between 13 and 13, only we have 13. So there's an 18 and 19. So this third quartile, 18 plus 19 divided by 2 is equal 18.5. That's the third quartile, how we call that. Uh, first quartile and third quartile. Where is the second quartile? The median. The median is the 
second quartile. Okay, that's it. If we have even number, we find the median and left side of the median. So median is between 15 and 16. So 15 a member of the lower half. So the left side of the median and the right side of the median, we separate two equal groups. Because it's an even number sets, we directly can uh, divide two equal parts. Okay, a box and square plot that's uh, from seventh grade shows the distribution of data, how the data separate around the uh, range or around the number line. The middle half of the data is represented by a box. So how we call it middle half? This is the median, cut it two equal part. This is the median of upper half, so and this is the the other half, so all of them one over four, one over four, one over four, two one, one over four makes half. So this box is middle half. So middle half. When we talk about middle half, we talk about this box. So the whisker. This looks like the cat whisker. So this side one over four, and this side again one over four. That's the box and maybe script plot. This is the lowest value. First quartile, median, third quartile, we already talked about them. And this point, uh, it's from the six. This is the greatest value. In that one, this question can come like that. What is the range of uh, middle half? The range of middle half means what is the length of the box or third quartile minus first quartile. The range, okay, let's write uh, a new page. Range of middle half, it's So, range of middle half is equal third quartile minus first quartile. So, what is it? The length of the box. Continue. Uh, one more question. That's the last question uh, for this video. Compare the median and range. Uh, when you compare the median, as you see, that's the median of set data. As the median of set uh, B, the set A and set B, they are same. So why? Let's call draw a line. They are same. So so for question five, I can say median of set A is equal. Median of set B or data set B, no problem. Okay. What about range? Range is the length, length of the data. So greatest minus smallest, it's give the length. Okay, that's the range here. That's the range here. Which one has the greatest range? So range of set B greater than, sorry. Range of set A. Range of set B is greater than range of set A. Sorry about my hands, it is not good at the moment. I couldn't write very well. Compare the range of the middle half. Oh, that's a good question. Now it says compare range of the middle half. When we compare the range of the middle half, we are comparing length of the box. So for question 6, again, range of the middle half. Uh, that set B is greater than range of the middle half set A. So range of middle half, so let's say A smaller than because A is smaller than range of middle half, let's say B. So when we compare the range of middle half, we compare the length of the box. When we calculate the range, so we will calculate all of this length. 
Thanks for listening. That ends of the video.